The higher up the chain of command we go, the more complex our decisions become. Developing a way to remain emotionally detached from those decisions so that we don't attach our emotions to the outcome is crucial to be a great leader. I have a tool that I'm going to teach you right now on how to make these very complex decisions very easy. And there has not been a client that I've worked with yet that after showing them this tool, they didn't geek out about it. So keep watching and I'm going to teach you how to use a tool to keep you detached from your emotions in making these very complex decisions and making them easy. Hi, my name is Sean Summerkamp and this is Motivation Ear Christian Coaching. I post two videos a week, so please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be reminded when I do. Please also consider becoming a member at motivationear.com. Your membership really supports this channel. Thank you. The tool I'm talking about is a weighted decision matrix. When we use a weighted decision matrix effectively, it takes the guesswork and the complexity out of making the decision, whatever the complex decision is. And this is what the weighted decision matrix looks like. I built it into a very simple Excel worksheet. As you can see, we want to start with that first row defining the question to be answered. We're gonna use as an example for us in this short video, the decision on which job offer to take. So we'll look at which job opportunity is the best choice. As you can see in this first column, we want to take our time to carefully choose the most important decision criteria. What things about a job do we consider the most important factors in making our decision? And we want to list them here one at a time. So for the sake of this example, we're going to say the first decision is, or the first criteria is working from home. The next, got to have a high compensation. Got to be a great leadership culture at the company. There has to be a certain cool factor in the work environment. There will be stock options. That's an important part of my decision. There's got to be a lot of growth potential within the company, and there has to be low travel. You want to definitely take your time considering this list. Really think about it. Spend a lot of time contemplating, praying for wisdom, and make this list so that it is the most important items. If you want to have 10 items, that's fine. I chose seven. Once the items are chosen, we now want to assign what we call a weight to each of those seven criteria. What's important, you can't give each criteria a matching weight that another criteria has. Because there's seven in this list, each one is going to have a weight of a seven, a six, a five, a four, a three, a two, or a one. You're going to put the most important weight or the seven next to the most important criteria. So let's say this work from home, we think it's a five. High compensation is a four. Great leadership is a three. The cool factor work environment is the most important. So we give it that seven rank. Stock options, it's important because it's on the list, but it ranks the very last in my seven choices. Growth potential is very high. So it ranks as the second most important. So we give it a six. And then low travel is closer to the bottom and we give it a three. By making sure each criteria only has one individual number from one to seven in this case, one to 10 if you use 10 criteria, means that when we use a calculational formula, which we're about to do, it's gonna put a higher value on the things that we think are most important. This is what the weighted decision matrix does best. It helps take the guesswork out by using the thought process we've already developed to calculate really a score for each choice we have. So let's say it's down to four companies. We feel pretty confident that four job offers are coming in. So we'll just list, list these briefly as company A, company B, company C, and company D. When it comes to company A, working from home, we're gonna give that score, let's say a three. Now, as you see in the screen, we want to choose a one out of five from one to five to keep it very simple. So on a scale of one to five, working from home is a three. But high compensation, it's not so bad. So it's a four out of five. Great leadership culture, mm, kind of a four out of five. Cool factor work environment. Yes, this is a very cutting edge company. Lots of cool stuff they're working on. Lots of meaning and purpose. Stock options. No, they don't really give us a lot of stock options. 
Growth potential, it's kind of middle of the road. And low travel, nope, they're going to make me travel. So using the weight to calculate, 5 times 3 is 15. This one's a 16, 12, 35, because that's 5 times 7. 1, 18, 6, and then ultimately the final score is 103. Then we do the same thing with each of these other ones. I'll just do them rapidly to kind of give you, oops, six doesn't work, to give you an idea of how this scores. That comes up with an 89. Company C, let's say it ranks pretty high on all of them. That comes up with a 116. And then the last one, it ranks high on one or two but low in the other ones. It comes up with a 93. So when you look at this, it's pretty obvious just at a glance, one of them really stands out above the rest. Even if two of them had kind of similar scores, what this tells you is either one of those two companies is a great choice. The reason why I use this with so many clients is because sometimes the decision will have an outcome that seems important, but we're not instantly ranking it on the importance of other factors. We just forget about it. We get excited about one of these options and we make a hasty decision. When we use it a weighted decision matrix, as you can see from the outcome here, company C scores a 116. The next closest one is company A at a 103, which tells us company C is going to be the best choice. Now you can use this for all kinds of options, like which employee to ultimately hire, which third party vendor we're wanna, we wanna go with, which funding source we wanna choose, and so on. When we do it this way, the upfront heavy lifting is just choosing what criteria is the most important. And when you have it all side by side in one worksheet with the formulas automatically calculated, you can tweak some of the numbers to see what the final scores are. And when you make a choice based on the highest score, it's gonna be a choice that you'll feel very comfortable about once you make that decision. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for you to access this weighted decision matrix for yourself. I'll include it as the Excel version. The one I'm gonna send you is gonna be a kind of a more larger list, more options, so you can fiddle around with it. If you do use it and you find it to be very helpful in coming to a final decision, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationeer.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.